Hey guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we are diving in to Valhalla 3. So I hope you guys are ready. Hey guys, Future Chosen here. I just wanted to let you guys know that I do have a Twitter, and you can follow me at Chosen Architect over there if you would be so kind. I also do have a Discord, and we have an amazing partner community that I would love for you to join. Anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know that in case you didn't, and let's get on with today's video. Getting started in this pack is definitely normal i mean we just need to punch some trees get some wood get started do all the mining bits before we can get into some fun stuff that is for sure as always we need to mine up a little bit of stone to get ourselves jump started and once we have three i think we're uh, pretty much ready to go now there's a mod in here called tetra and uh it's a pretty interesting tool mod at first we are going to stick with our standard tools but we're going to dive into some tetra today and it's going things are going to get pretty interesting pretty quick as we can start to customize our tools in various ways. Oh my God, it's a freaking raccoon in the game. What? That's a, there's straight up a raccoon right here. Uh, there's multiple rat, there's raccoons. Look at all the trash pandas. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I hope they, they're they not like vicious or anything. Like, that'd be crazy. And also there's a cave. Ooh, I'm looking for some sheep, but found a ship instead. Oh, hey, there's some sheep, but there's a ship. I'm going after the sheep first. I need to get, of course, three wool so we can uh, secure self at night. No telling what spawns at night. With raccoons and all, like, come on, there's got to be something crazy that spawns at night. Other than just standard skeletons. You, you get to live. For today. This is like, how, what? Scroll, scroll of regeneration applies for generations to all citizens. Oh, this part of mine colonies. You know what? We might touch on mine colonies a little bit. I don't know. Mine colonies is, is great and all, like for a normal world, but like when it comes to like recording for episodes and stuff, when you're playing on your own, you know, it's it's a bit more fun. Let's see. Can I not get out? I am literally trapped in here. Come on now. I think I can swim. There we go. Perfect. Wow, this thing was legitimately buried. Look at this. Oh, and this is this is where the buried treasure map is. This is what I'm definitely after. Um Compass, I will take that as well. We ended up getting bamboo. Wow, industrial hemp seeds. I'm gonna get rid of the sticks. And there's a supply chest from mine colonies. Uh, yes, I will take that. That way we can get a jump start on all of this. Paper and sticks, don't really need. That buried treasure map could get us diamonds. It could even get us enough for a diamond pick. Oh man, and the mine colony ship? All we gotta do is place this. At least we should be able to get resources and a bed out of this. Like. That is something that we should be able to do, right? Uh, do I need to right click this on land? Okay, so we can leave the GUI. As you can see, we need this to go down and then we can maneuver this kind of where we want it. And I think we can change this to, uh, we have birch, we have dark forest, we have jungle, medieval. Ooh, that's an interesting style. Um, let's see, spruce. Ooh. I kind of, I'm kind of digging that. That's pretty, that's pretty cool looking actually. There we go. Okay, so I just had to build it out far enough. How do we get onto this ship? Is there an actual like ladder on here somewhere? Okay, here's the ladder, it's on the other side. Oh yeah, this is definitely gonna be worth it. This might have actually have a bed and everything. Oh, it does. It has a, a bed quarters. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. So now we can actually sleep through this night. So sleeping through the night. We can take the top bunk. <laughs> I'm sure there's other stuff on this ship as well. Usually it gives us like chests and resources. We have these barrels, but we also have these crates. Um, I don't know if these are like accessible. There's an under deck here. Ooh, with a crafting table. There's a chest with spruce logs already ready for us. A bunch of spruce logs, which is beautiful. Oh yeah, a whole living quarters. Look at this, our own personal bed. That's the one we should have slept in. There's a, a chair to set in? What? Up, and then all the stuff we basically need to get started with mine colonies. Uh, that's actually pretty, pretty nice, to be honest. I am totally down with what little supplies we have to go on a little bit of an adventure already. Let's go ahead and take, uh, let's see, we can go ahead and make a simple shovel. That's just gonna help us uh, be able to mine a little bit. I can actually make it out of iron already. Oh, I love this. Okay, so we're about to get ourselves some resources. Let's hope the RNG is good good to us for this treasure map. It does look like we're pretty close because it's already kind of been so, somewhat discovered. 
So we need to make our way south um, because we are currently north. Place our boat down and we can go on a nice little adventure. Look at this beautiful little biome. This is a really nice place. Now, as you can see, we need to go over here though where it's not so pretty um, and go into this deserty biome. <gasps> but there's a village right there. Oh my gosh, this is like what a run so far. So there's supposed to be a little trick um, and that is when you're looking for buried treasure, notice the uh, on the second uh, little column there, you will see where it says bl uh, the chunk right underneath blocks in your X, Y, Z coordinates. And you see where it says chunk, it says nine out of nine. Well, uh, that nine, nine is supposed to be where this resides at. So this right here, if we mine directly down, there should be the chest right here every time. That's a little trick if you didn't already know that's a thing and we just found our first diamond. Oh, and we already have enough iron to start kicking some butt and taking names. We got some flippers, improved agility and water. Uh, yes, oh, I forgot about that because in this pack, it actually incentivizes finding stuff like this because we have the chance to find artifacts and artifacts are really nice. So this is supposed to help our swim speed. I can already tell it's definitely faster. Like our actual water swimming speed is pretty fast. Let's go check out this village. Like it's gonna have some loot, but I don't know if it will contain artifacts. That would be kind of broken if that was the case. I mean, the chests do have things in them, just uh, not any artifacts just yet, but I will always take food and uh, take it off your hands. Thank you for providing all this, this food for me. I, <laughs> I do appreciate it. And wouldn't you know it, this village also has a blacksmith, so. I can only imagine what good things are in this place. Hopefully I get lucky anyways. Be, be good. Diamond horse armor. Wow. Okay. Can we do anything with the diamond horse armor? Like, oh, wow. There's actually netherite horse. I mean, I was wanting netherite horse armor. Eventually, I mean, we could use, that's like a late, later on down the road, using create to break things down. But still, I'm also going to take this. I might even take your furnaces. Like, why not? So I don't have to craft some later on down the road. But we also have this, which is really nice because we're just gifted with these right here. If you don't know what these are, consider them shulker boxes because this is pretty much a shulker box. So I can fill this all with stuff and stuffs. By the way, we also got a heart of the sea and you can break it and it just holds all of your stuff as if it's a shulker box. And there's multiples of them in here. Uh, yes, I will take this. This is an immersive engineering hut. So cool. Is there anything like hidden underneath the fireplace? Is that a thing? No. Oh, but that would have been super cool. All right, what's up here? Anything really nice? The lant the lantern is actually kind of nice. Just kind of like just destroying this house. Poor guy. Whoever owns this house, I am sorry. Um, don't go back to your house. I promise I didn't take anything out of your chest. I I promise. Uh, wasn't me. I am right by my house and there's a seal laying down right here. Can, do you eat food? Oh my gosh, there is a book in here I noticed. It's got an animal dictionary. And inside here talks about all this stuff. And talks about all this, the different things that you'll find. Oh, this is so cool. So according to the book, if you feed this seal three fish, it will do a trade feature. Will it'll scrounge for, down in the uh, the ocean for an item. And it says usually it'll be useless, but apparently the loot pool is uh, also can yield some uh, some nice items as well. So let's take a look at this astral sorcery pillar. Sometimes in one of these corners, uh, of course, in every single one like this, you are going to find a chest. We need to find this chest. And usually there's like loot in here. You'll find like gold. You'll also find some important astral sorcery stuff. Why? What? <laughs> I say you'll always find, but uh, excuse me. There's not a chest at all under one of these corners. Am I going crazy? I will take this though. What? <laughs> Doesn't our house just look beautiful off in the distance? <laughs> I really like that ship. That's a really cool design. So I still can't 100% get away from mining. So I still need to get into a little bit of, you know, mining. So uh, in order to do that, we have Tetra. Now Tetra is going to be a little bit interesting in, uh, I guess, getting started. So I want to do my best to explain this. 
So let's go ahead and make some sticks and some wood. We have a crafting table right here and we're gonna make a hammer, but it's not one that we're gonna mine with. Uh, it's, it's one that we're gonna be working with, uh, I think. So all I gotta do is right click it on here and we now have a Tetra like workstation, right? And as you can see, I place a hammer in here and I have things I can do to it, like upgrade it with parts and such. And it really has a nice UI. And all of these different things do different things, right? Cause that's a good way of explaining things. But no, um, if we stick like a pickaxe, for example, in here, let's see, we have our pickaxe. Um, it's not necessarily a pickaxe, like a, it's a still a standard pickaxe, but we can change things about this. So you can see right here, we have a pickaxe head. Um, and this is by the way, based off of what we have in here. So if we go to changing things without this hammer, uh, things are going to be problematic, basically. And we also need to keep an eye out on the integrity. So we have a flimsy handle. We have a stone pick. I don't know if we can take some cobblestone or iron just yet and uh, do some stuff with it, but I would like to. Let's see. Can I take this and upgrade a piece of this to being iron? So we have the stone pickaxe head. Can I change this head to be iron, for example? Um, you can see right here, it requires two, but this action requires a tier two hammer. Currently, I do not have a tier two hammer. Um, I think to be able to get a tier two hammer, I need to change this head with something that has better materials. And I think I need to just make a stone hammer, I think. This mod has really come a long way since the last time I played with it. Like, I'm not joking. Like, it's been almost a year and a half or so since I even discovered this mod when it was like b just released, like it had been j literally just released and I was doing some kind of like mod spotlight thing just to kind of discover new mods uh, that had just been put out. And yeah, that this was one of them. And I can't believe it's like come this far. Like it's kind of crazy. Can we make a stone one? Okay, we can't. Can we do it this way? Okay, so we have a stone hammer. Is this a tier two? I don't actually know. <laughs> um. Let's see, it is a tier two. So this item can be um, can be used for hammering and I do see tier two. So if that's the case, that means we can now take the head of this and we should be able to make this, yes, iron. So we're gonna change the head to iron and all we gotta do is hit craft. And as you can see, the head piece of this is now iron which should mean we should be able to mine things with iron. So I guess for doing that craft, we ended up getting ourselves a halo sphere. This comes from Tetra. Okay, this is interesting. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, there's like crazy upgrade systems that we could use, we can do here. Wow, so this basically shows us the material list and stuff. Is this like our projector that just shows us like it's almost like a guidebook for this? It 100% is. It's like definitely like a guidebook. Just doing a little mining and as you can see by the map that, uh, wow, there is a lot of stuff going on here. But all that means is just more fun, right? Um, okay, so I should be able to mine down here and make it down here maybe without being killed by a skeleton. That's hopeful. Oh, wait, we have cork in here. So I should be able to just uh, use this to build under a block. <laughs> Because the quark isn't here. Oh man, I don't know how I lived without quark. I, I don't, I just, that this mod is quite nice to be able to do things like, like this, build down. Like that's, Minecraft, why? Why, why is that not a thing yet? As you can see though, it looks like there is a lot to mine. Wow, okay, lots of different ores all over the place. Zinc from Create. Uh, yes, I'm gonna need to mine this. But as you can see, it's not my current harvest level. I think I'm going to need at least iron. And this is still technically, I think, considered stone. Um, so we probably still need to upgrade to an iron pickaxe, unfortunately. But all we got to do is just sort of work towards getting ourselves to that point. Uh, we definitely have enough iron to get iron. I need to mine some more iron. We need to mine deeper so we can get to the diamond level and hopefully get ourselves diamond. That's like the ultimate goal always is like getting diamond, right? So... Nothing too different about mining here. Hey, I just got an advancement called Spelunking. I don't exactly know what that means other than I am underground and I am mining. Un underground and mining. Hmm, 
an interesting concept. Look, I've made some friends! This is what happens when a creeper blows up, by the way. Oh. Uh, I, I don't know whether to be happy. Oh, man. It's, yeah. <laughs> Do you see their names? Creepy. Yes, they are creepy. No, don't blow up. I don't actually know what they do. Like, it still, like, does damage, but now these things spawn. I, I remember this before. Like, they didn't actually do damage. Oh, oh, come up here. Nope, nope. All right, what do you do? I just... No, I actually don't want to let them explode. <laughs> I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk dying right now. I don't need that. So I can't do much with a broken tool, but I can repair it with just some cobblestone, apparently. Provided materials cannot be used this schematic. Did, did it upgrade now? Uh, repair. Repair? Wait, what? Repair? It says you've zero tiers available. Action required, it's tier zero. Sticks. Oh, it requires sticks. Oh, because we broke the handle. We have to rebuild the entire thing. So we need to put sticks in here. And that apparently repaired everything. Nice. Uh, but we are leveling it up. I'm noticing the hone is increasing. And right how right here we uh we have some things that have changed to this. I don't know if we're like slowly leveling this tool up. As you can see, the hone has gone up, the progress. And then requirement base, and then the integrity use has gone up. So now we have more integrity going on here. I almost wonder if at this point, can I add iron to another piece of this? That would be nice, like the pickaxe head, and then bump this up. Okay. We, I did, I just did it. Okay. I thought that maybe I would not be able to do that because of the magic capacity. But it, as you can see, it does, it works. And so now we have this beautiful pick. Um, the handle now, I don't know. We can wrap a handle, basic handle. We actually can upgrade the handle to iron as well. And now we have like a full iron pickaxe, which should definitely be able to mine iron related things like that. That definitely should be like a duh. <laughs> but I also want to make a sword as well while I'm here. So I think we can go for like a cobblestone handle maybe and an iron sword blade. That could be kind of cool. So what I can do is just make a regular iron sword and maybe upgrade the handle. Um, so we have the pommel, remove module, makeshift iron guard. Oh, iron blade. So we can replace the guard and the hilt. The hilt is what I want to replace. Um, and we have the hilt. Can I do cobblestone? Okay, cobblestone is not something that we can use, but iron is. Okay. Uh, what about the guard? Like, I might want to make the guard different. We have different types of guards as well. And then what about the blade? We could technically make the blades different. I think I'm going to go with the heavy blade for more damage. It does require three, but we have a very chunky blade here. Oh, that's... That's hilarious looking. Apparently we can also add reinforcements to this. Um, was that something that we could do to our actual tool here? Was there a reinforcement? Okay. Doesn't seem like that's the case. So that's interesting. The blade though has all kinds of different stuff. Um, like the guard. We can make um, the guard different. There's a binding. Um, and it tells you all of that information right here. This one uh, uses rope. There's a wide guard, which we could add. And now we have this like really slow, but really nice. I don't know. Is it nice? Like six attack damage while in offhand, we get 4.1 plus armor. Wait a minute. What? That adds to our armor level. That's pretty crazy. I said offhand, but I meant main hand. It says main hand. <laughs> It gives us armor while we're holding it. Look at our armor bar. What? So I think we're ready to fight everything. We now have a full set of iron gear and I'm got to go back down into the mine. I'm really enjoying mining though in this. It's really nice. Um, the caves definitely add to it. We are just about to the Y level where we can find diamonds. I would really like to find at least one diamond. Like that's really all we need. We can get ourselves uh, set up with more Tetra stuff. 
We have our chonky blade. Things are looking pretty good so far. We well, definitely want to nab some of this fiery, fiery glass ore. This stuff, yes. Oh, so a module has settled. Iron pick. Oh, very nice. So it like takes a minute for like the module to settle in. That's kind of cool. But yeah, this, the fiery stuff. Oh, and we can now mine this, the zinc ore, because we now have like a full iron pick. That's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, the fiery stuff, it also acts as torches. You can make torches out of it. It burns like coal. Very, very useful and definitely want to grab that stuff. Now, since I'm now at Y level 11, I'm doing my mining for diamonds, which is the level I normally mine at. Um, I should probably talk a little bit about how this is going to work because orc excavator is not a thing in here. Um, as far as I know, this there's not a ore excavator. So, and I'm pretty sure it was this way during the original, like when I played Valhalla 2. Um, and so it's continued to carry on. And I think that's an okay thing. Like you don't always need to have, um, something that allows you to break blocks immediately. It is very nice. It is a nice convenience for building, but when there's other tools technically that allow you to do pretty much the same thing, it kind of defeats the purpose of those tools, sometimes rendering those tools basically useless. Um, so having the ability to go through and, and, you know, feel mining again. Um, is always a nice thing. Look at these cute little beetles. What? Oh man, I'm I'm loving the like a little mobs that I'm finding here and there. They're so cute. Now these fiery torches that I mentioned you can make, they're not just normal torches. They they are a little bit brighter than regular torches, and they're also water resistant. So if you place them and water doesn't really mess with them, which is another great feature of these. Um and uh, yeah, as you can see, there's a tad bit brighter and they look really cool as well. I ended up stumbling upon a cave. Look at this. And <laughs> can we find diamond? Oh my gosh. Uh, let's go ahead and block this up. That you can't beat like that. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Look at this. Oh man. Is there more or is it just three? Like I'm happy with three. Oh my gosh. And we end up finding the experience or <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I will take all of this. So off in the distance, this thing right here. Oh man, this monster box could get us killed. I'm, I'm go hoping for the not killed, but it can also give us other things. And there are hearts that are popping up around us when we eat. What is that? That's a, that's new to me. Um, okay. So let's try out our thick sword on this monster box. Oh boy, I'm waiting for it to like ramp up. The thing, oh, there it goes. The thing is, is witches usually spawn? Oh man, these things spawn. Okay, okay, I can deal, I can deal with it. Oh no, I got poisoned. Oh, it does a little bit. Oh, we can't swing. Oh, that makes it so rough. Okay, so that dropped. It dropped diamonds. Oh, <gasps> literally two diamonds right there on that monster box. Okay, so I think we can handle this. Oh wow, that one was a little bit faster. At getting up here. Um You can see they some of them are a little bit faster. Oh no. Okay, so that dropped some stuff. That dropped some TNT and a head. Where'd the other ones go? Oh, did we kill them all? The swing speed must have been good enough. It killed them all. Oh my. Five. So that dropped two diamonds. We had found three. What? <laughs> you can't beat that. Bone blocks? Uh, yes. Wow, that was actually a pretty decent uh, monster spawner. I'm glad I did that. What can I say? So far, I am absolutely enjoying this mod pack. It is, it is going well. We've already found diamond and uh, I think the future looks bright. I'm actually kind of excited to kind of get into create and see if we can't get some kind of quarry system going to make it a little bit easier to mine. That would be absolutely the best. Of course, as always, I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, and that is going to go to Rachel Snyders. I think that's right. Um, if you guys are interested in becoming a Patreon yourself and supporting the videos I make, be sure to check out the link in the description below. And guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to click that subscribe button and also give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed. Guys, I hope to see you in the next episode.
And as always, you know how it goes. Thanks for watching.